This is video eight. This is a beam event complex slash conditioning. We're gonna start with leg swings. Everybody starts with their right arm on the beam, left arm press back, high releve. Ready, and one, above, and two, and three. And these are sets of 10. Hold your leg up, above the height of the beam, one, two, three. Touch and turn, sharp, and kick, one, and two, shoulders back, three, and touch and turn, or hold, one, two, three. Touch, face front, and swing. One, and two, and three. Hold it up, again, these are tens, and then they get held to the count of 10. And then other side, above the beam, behind the ears, and hold. You're gonna see a lot of things we do here for active and passive because this is an area that my team, I feel, is weak. Okay, then when we go to the back, we do both an arabesque and a scale, and one, and two, chest up, and three, all the way up. Let's do it one more time. So we do half, kick, and full, and then back up, and then hold, back leg up, above the height of the beam, one, two, three. Then we do bop mons right after leg swings. All of this is for fast twitch and active flex on the beam. And kick, one, two, pull down, three. The pull down is as important as the kick. Touch the beam and turn, and one, two, three. Touch the beam, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three, and one, two, three. Then we get up on the beam. Press back. And we do walks. These are actually three passes. We'll consolidate into one, walking front. This is so good for posture active core, and the discipline of the feet curling the toes under right as they leave the beam and as they touch the beam. Then we do kicks to the front, kicks to the side, and kicks to the back, and making sure that the legs pull down, not just kick up. Turn the corner. Quick kicks to the front. Again, focusing on the quickness of the feet and go. Quick, 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 quick. Tight knees, keeping the posture. Turn, and we'll do that one more time. And go, watch the feet. Quick, 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 extend, extend, extend. All of this is for the quick takeoffs, which create the active flex in the air. Okay, then we drop the bands. Go down to one knee. These are the straight leg skips that are used for the switch leap. Arms go side middle. Then they'll go down to the sides of the body. Then they'll go through front middle and then press back. Lexi, can you do just the arms without the legs? Down, front middle, press back. Down, front middle, press back. All right, ready ladies? And go. One, and down. Two, press back and down and three and we do this on both sides then we stand up we do our switch leaps next oh excuse me let's do our straight leg skip standing first okay we do two of them for switch leaps and one of them more for torgete so here are the arms and the legs together ready and one press back two Press back, three, overhead, hold, and finish. Turn, and now we do connected ones, again, for the quickness of the arm swing and the legs, and go. One, and two, and three, and finish. These are all Tammy Big specials, so I'm sure she will add to this.
Now we'll go ahead and do the switch leaps. So now hopefully they're going to transfer the drills into the leap and you're going to see the straight leg skip. Present and go. And finish. Step and turn. We do a total of 10 of these. Feel the skip. And then the split. Then we go on to connected sassones because after we have the switch leap, for the most part, if you're not doing acro out of, there are a lot of sassones being used. Plus, it's good work on quickness of the feet off the beam. Ready and go. And one, and two, and three, and finish. All right, this is the first half of the beam complex. And whether you use this one or another one, the importance is to have disciplined arms, body shapes, and posture throughout.